Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. This time, let's head to Champaign-Urbana, the University of Illinois. Zane Richards received an invite to wrestle in the 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic. He joins us now. Zane, congratulations. Uh, thank you, Scott. Quite a quite a way to start off the season, starting it at the All-Star. It's a, a kind of a tribute to what was and what will be. What was... Uh, uh, what was your condition when somebody said, "Hey, you're going to wrestle in the uh, in the All Star"? Uh, well, we were really training for the University Nationals, uh, you know, World Tournament, and that uh, because it's over in Turkey, it, it was kind of uh, you know shady to send us over there, and we didn't feel comfortable going, uh, you know, for the state right now. So uh, we were just getting ready for that and. And then we got a call for the uh, all-star meet and we said, sure, you know, if we're going to do something around the same time. Why not do the all-star meet? So. Illinois Zane Richard joins us and uh, your opponent is going to be Nebraska's Eric Montoya. Now he's not a stranger to you. Indeed. You hold an advantage in the times you two have met. Uh, and I believe it's, is it five one? No, uh, it's, it's either uh, two one or three one. Three one. I'm sorry, I got my numbers confused. It is three to one. Um, obviously, the beard has got to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm growing it out while I still can. So it's got about another week left, and it's got to go. You're rocking like a Bill Zadick beard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any one of the Zadicks. Insert name here. Uh, so the beard goes, but you've been really stepping up in the room, getting ready for international competition. How will you change it up in preparation for this November fifth date? Uh, just the change has been working on, uh, you know, transitions from the feet to the mat and, uh, just mat wrestling in general, you know, it's, it's a lot different, uh, obviously, uh, but more, you know, the feet's the same. If you can score in freestyle, you know, I, I think you can score in folk style, being a little bit more aware of the scramble. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it's the same positions on the feet. It's just getting ready for that transition, uh, point. Whenever you get a takedown or you get taken down or you start a period on bottom or top, you know, getting used to that and, and wrestling through those positions. We're talking with Zane Richards uh, out of Carbondale, Illinois. And we're talking a little bit about the NWCA All-Star Classic. It takes place November 5th in Cleveland, Ohio, on the campus of Cleveland State. Have you ever wrestled in the Wolstein Center? Uh, I don't believe I have. Uh so, you know, that, that'll be interesting. The World Series is, is coming up recently or soon. So uh, maybe Cleveland will be uh, pretty hot at the, the time. That's what I'm thinking, too, dude. Well, I mean, are we crazy for going there or are we crazy for going there? Uh, I might be crazy. I'm a Cubs fan, so I got to be careful. <laughs> you too? Careful. Yeah. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are going to win today. There it is. My own version of that famed song. All right, let's get back to business. Wrestling, in particular, you're a three-time NCAA qualifier out of Carbondale. I mentioned that two-time Illinois State champ. When deciding on the universities that uh, you were going to look at, was there really any question that Illinois would be your choice? Uh, yeah, certainly. I wanted to keep my options open and and see what was going to be the best fit for me. Uh, you know, Illinois was obviously the number one pick, but there were some other schools in that mix that were, you know, I, I really think I, I could have seen myself wrestling there as well. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's not that it just won totally on a landslide, but at the end of the day, you know, I think I made the right pick and this is where my home's at. Well, home is important. That gives your family um, a chance to see you wrestle and, and, and that's important, but also, you know, family and friends. Uh, we like to keep those, uh, those relationships going and the closer you are to home, the better, better off it is for that opportunity. Um, what are the changes? What can we expect to see from last year to this year uh, from you and what you've been working on throughout the summer, the spring and summer, uh, as we head to November 5th, what can we expect to see uh, in a different Zane Richards? Uh, he's certainly different. He's better. You know, he's tougher. He's meaner. Uh, but for the most part, technically, you know, I can't reveal all the secrets to you, Scott. Don't want to give the uh, the opposition you know, some, some but no, I I'm kidding. Uh, just you know, just just better better wrestling. Uh, not no no secrets. You know what you see is kind of what you get. I'm not I'm not the kind of guy who's got a bunch of weird stuff uh, going on with my wrestling style. But uh, 
you know, it's, it's, it's hard to stop me. And so, and it's getting harder and harder to stop me. And I'm getting more, you know, my percentages on finishing takedowns and getting two takedowns are getting better and giving myself more opportunities and, uh, just you know, making my wrestling game better in general. So I, I think that's what you can expect. All right. Fair enough. I do have to ask you the question though, given your history, uh, in wrestling, I mean, your style seems to be very adaptive. You've got uh, four USA Wrestling National titles, three of which are in Greco. And then, of course, you've got the Junior Freestyle Crown as well. So it appears that you like or enjoy wrestling Greco and enjoy wrestling Greco a lot. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Uh, when, I, when I actually competed it, uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was a good good change of pace from folk style and freestyle and uh, you know, in general, wrestling's wrestling, and I enjoy it. Uh, and and Greco is just another way to to adapt skills and, and learn different things uh, and add to my game. So I, you know, I enjoyed wrestling, and, and Greco was just another part of it. We're talking uh, to to Zane Richards, and and Zane, you come with a great pedigree. I mean, you uh, you start this year off November fifth. You start with an eighty two and twenty record career record. Uh, who was it that told you that you've got the invite to wrestle at the All Star? Uh, it was my, uh, head coach, Jim Heffernan. Uh, he just kind of walked in the room one day or I think we, I was lifting and, you know, he asked me if I wanted to do the all-star meet, if that's something I was interested in. And I said, you know, yeah, if, uh, you know, university worlds doesn't work out, you know, I'm definitely interested and it ended up not working out. So, uh, that, that's where, uh, where I'm at, you know, and, and we both thought it was a good opportunity talking to my whole coaching staff on whether or not it was a good idea. So, uh, Definitely my head coach, you know, was the one who first contacted me about it. Don't you think it should count, though? Shouldn't we, shouldn't we be able to count the All-Star as in the wins and loss column? Uh, I, I think that depends. I think it depends on, you know, because some years you, you have All-Star meet as uh, uh, with those experimental rules. And so it's hard to, you know, qualify that as a real match if you have experimental rules. This year I think it's the same. So, you know, I... I don't think it matters too much um, whether or not you count it. Uh, and a lot of time, you know, late season matches, uh, you know, are, are pretty important as well. Uh, you know, and at the end of the day, wrestling's wrestling. And, you know, you can count matches this early, but uh, it's a long season ahead of you. And, you know, it's, it's really going to matter whenever it's time to wrestle in March. So, you know, if you want to count the match, sure. But, uh you know, it, it is what it is in my eyes. It is what it is indeed. Uh, I got to ask you about weight. Summertime, some guys let themselves go a little bit, enjoy some pizzas, some pastas, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, how how tight are you at your weight? Uh, you know, I, I, I do my business. Uh, I I take care of it. You know, I'm I'm pretty pretty strict or pretty uh, uh, focused on on those things. You know, it's a lifestyle. Working your weight, it's not something you do you know, just eight hours out of the day, it's a 24 hour process. So, uh, and, and even in the summer, you know, I had to be a little bit, uh, aware of my weight just cause I was competing in several tournaments. So, uh, making sure my weight was at the right, uh, spot for training, you know, and if you're weighed too much in the off season, you're training at a weight that you're not comfortable and you're not going to compete at. So, uh, you know, weight, Weight, like all things in, in my wrestling game, is, uh, you know, there, there's devotion to it, and there's a level of uh, importance placed on it. I like that devotion. I like that word a lot to the sport. Perhaps we don't use that one enough. You know what I like about this matchup, Zane? I like the fact that it's two Big Ten programs uh, with stellar opportunities there. This is a year for the Big Tens. I know it is. Um, the Big Ten, perhaps one of the toughest, if not the toughest conference in the sport of wrestling. But we get to see two of the tough guys go head-to-head -head on the 5th of November. I'm looking forward to it. The event presented by the Brewer Garrett Company, and it's hosted by our friends at the Wrestlers and Business Network. Did you know the Wrestlers and Business Network was actually founded in Cleveland, Ohio? Uh, I didn't, actually. There but, you go. Yeah. I don't know if it's useless uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, uh, it's, it's fact. It is a fact. Zane, we appreciate you jumping into the Nike hot seat today. Here's an opportunity for you, sir, to, uh, extend an invitation to people you would like to see there. Who do you want to, uh, invite? 
Uh, just, you know, my friends, my family, and uh, everyone wants to watch a, a good wrestling match and, and see, you know, me perform uh, at the highest level that I can. I love it. You're going to want to be there, folks. 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic presented by the Brewer Garrett Company. Where? Well, you're going to want to be at the Wolfstein Center at Cleveland State University, November 5th. Matches get underway at 7 o'clock. Main event about 7. Tickets are on sale now. 15 bucks GA, $100 preferred. And, of course, we do have group options available as well. For more information, go to GoAllStarClassic.com. Tickets available at Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts or the Wolfstein Center box office by calling 844-407-2279. Look for it streaming online as well at TrackWrestling.com. Our guest today has been the 133-pound star that is Zane Richards from the University of Illinois. Zane, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, Scott. Are you going to donate that beard or just cut it off? Uh, I'm sure they can get a, get a lot out of it from Locks of Love, so donation is, uh, is definitely uh, an option here. <laughs>